Hey guys, Mitch here. Um, I, I know that a lot of us are using WordPress and Divi Builder to build amazing story brand websites. But one of the problems that you run into um, with a great story brand website is that you may have a larger block of text that you don't want to just put a big blob of text on a, a beautiful website. And so we need, um, it would be awesome if the Divi text module would have you know a read more uh, button that would do that for you but out of the box it doesn't have it um, it has it with the blog module but you can't you can't really do it with the text module and so what I'm going to show you today is a quick um, way to do this uh, with a little bit of code uh, and so here we go so I'm in the Divi visual builder here and so this is the block of text that I've just kind of thrown in there that I would like to uh, truncate. And so the way to do that is um, you can see that when you open this up, normally you're gonna be in this visual tab. You wanna go to the text tab and you wanna add this in front of your text. So this span and class truncate. And then at the end of the text that you want to truncate, you need to add this, the span, okay? So once we've done that, um, we need to make sure we save in the Divi Builder. And then I'm gonna go back to the dashboard, down to Divi theme options. And then in integration, I'm going to paste um, some code there. There that is, and I'll put this code in, um, in Slack for you. So once you have this here, um, we want to save those changes. Uh, then let's go take a look. So here's our beautiful story brand website. Here's this crazy little uh, misplaced uh, text module, but now we've got this cool read more button and it just opens everything up for us. So this is the way you would truncate text uh, with WordPress and Divi Builder. Hope that helps you guys. Have a great day. Bye.